In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of truth, who art everywhere and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and ages of ages. Amen. Eternal Father, since thou hast given me for my inheritance the adorable face of thy divine Son, I offer that face to thee, and I beg thee, in exchange for this coin of infinite value, to forget the ingratitude of those souls who are consecrated to thee, and to pardon all poor sinners. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. O God's make birther of all radiance and vibration. Soften the ground of our being and carve out a space within us where your presence can abide. Fill us with your creativity so that we may be empowered to bear fruit. Bear the fruit of your mission. Let each of our actions bear fruit in accordance with our truest desire that you set in our hearts. Endow us with the wisdom to produce and share what each being needs to grow and flourish. Untie the tangled threads of destiny that bind us as we release others from the entanglements of past mistakes. Do not let us be seduced by that which will divert us from our true purpose, but illuminate the opportunities of the present moment. For you are the ground and the fruitful vision, the birth, the power, and fulfillment, as all is gathered and made whole once again. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all words, worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten I made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. The third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in one Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshiped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Saints, feasts, and readings. For September the 12th, 2023. Saints and Feasts. Apodosis of the Nativity of our Most Holy Lady, the Theotokos and Ever-Virgin Mary. Autonomos the Martyr, Herio Martyr Coronatus, Bishop of Iconium. Agirus, Hero Martyr of Coronatus, Bishop of Iconium. Daniel of Thassos. Julian the Martyr, Theodore the Hero Martyr of Alexandria. Epistle reading, Galatians 2, 21, 3, 1 through 7. Brethren, I do not nullify the grace of God, for if justification were through the law, then Christ died to no purpose. O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified? Let me ask you only this. Did you receive the spirit by works of the law or 
by hearing with faith. Are you so foolish? Having begun with the spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so many things in vain? If it is, if it really is in vain, does he who supplies the spirit to you and works miracles among you do so by the works of the law or by the hearing with faith? Thus, Abraham believed in God, believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness. So you see that it is men of faith who are the sons of Abraham. Gospel reading, John eleven forty seven through 54. At that time, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered the council and said, what are we to do? For this man performs many signs. If we let him go on thus, everyone will believe him and the Romans will come and destroy both our place and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, you know nothing at all. You do not understand that it is expedient for you that one man should die for the people and that the whole nation should not perish. He did not say this of his own accord, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for the nation and not for the nation only, but to gather into one the sacred children of God who are scattered abroad. So from that day on, they took counsel how to put him to death. Jesus therefore no longer went about openly among the Jews, but went from there to the country near the wilderness to a town called Ephraim, and there he stayed with the disciples. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen.